Here we go. Hello. Welcome along. It is Thursday the 9th of March. This is going to confuse the bejeepers out of me because I've not long finished pre-recording Saturday's quiz. So, uh, yeah, two two quizzes back to back. Um, one pre-recorded, one live. But we're here. We are there. We are ready to go. Hope you're all well. Thank you very much for joining us. Usual chaos, 50 questions. I can't remember which order I've done these in. So it's going to be a mystery to all of us, apart from round three. I know what round three is, and there's a reason behind it, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, someone's just put a gif of a like warm, crackling fire on Twitter. And I'm feeling all warm and cozy now because it is freezing up here. Uh, when I was pre-recording the Saturday, Today quiz I was saying that I'm constantly looking out the window because it was snowing and howling and it was really 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 bad at one point um, and it was really not looking great um, but it seems to have stopped now now I'm live uh, so no snow at the moment in Darwin but we are due to get another bucket load Darwin's a weird place because it's like in a valley so it sort of seems to go across the top of us so we either get loads or none um, the amount of times I've come out and everyone's going, oh, it's snowing. You come out of Darwin, you get to like Blackburn just up the road and it's like, you know, inches deep and we're like, where, why have you got it? So, yeah, so I'm hoping that it's going to stay off because I am heading uh, to London tomorrow morning. I'm going to get some new tyres on the car and then jumping in the car and then I'm off to London because I'm supporting Connection at St. Martins and the London Homeless Collective uh, with their very, very cold, very, very brave uh, London walk tomorrow night. So I'm back home for a few days tomorrow evening. Uh, but anyway, I've got some shout outs. I'm going to jump into them uh, from Twitter and from ye olde Facebook as well. Uh, so I'll jump on. And go around uh, and say hello to a few people and then we'll get going. If you're just joining us the first time, uh, we get started about 9 minutes and 40 odd seconds. If you do want me to say hello, uh, the best place to grab my attention will be on Twitter. Uh, use the hashtag, hashtag Jay's Virtual Pub Quiz or jump on the um, the shout out post. That is the best place because that is where I'm looking. Uh, Facebook is all done now because I can't refresh that because uh, it'll break. But uh, yeah, if you head on to Twitter, that's your best spot to get me to say hello. But that is where, in fact, no, I'm going to start on Facebook and I'll come back to Twitter now. I've said it. Uh, hello to our friends over in Sweden, the two weird dots above the O. I still keep meaning to have a look at your sweet shop. Um, you'll have to tag me in again because I think I've lost a notification now. So you'll have to tag me in again so I can have a proper look at it because uh, I'm quite intrigued just to know what they're actually selling over there and what they what what they are classing i mean they do when i had a brief look they do look like a really good sweet shop uh, for british sweets so i do want to have a look at what they're classing as really good british sweets and see um i'm sure they've got it spot on uh, but hello to you guys over there in horby uh, hello to mike and lisa weber joining from cold slushy peterborough tonight uh get our brains working to warm us up please oh i can promise i can promise that <laughs> don't you worry your brains will be working tonight um hello to the wonderful wonderful Liz Taylor, uh, I knew uh, I'd seen something in Discord anyway, uh, but you've popped it onto Facebook post. Um, did the quiz for the first time this morning at five out of five. Jules Lang gets the tiebreaker spot on. I still am not 100% sure how she did that. Um, but yeah, so hopefully catch the quiz tonight from my hospital bed if I'm awake. Uh, I know Dan from Mill Lane Mob has put in and said that you are out of surgery, which is good to know. Um, I think we did say, you know, you'll be absolutely fine. I think everyone's been giving you all the support in the world in there. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you are on the mend and being absolutely pampered, which I'm sure you will be. And I know you're not someone who likes a fuss, but I'm sure you're going to be absolutely pampered uh, by everyone over there by the Mill Lane mob. So all of our best wishes. And I know I'm only up the road. I'm heading to London uh, about half nine tomorrow. But if you need anything or if any of the Mill Lane mob, if you guys need anything, give me a shout and I can always drop in on the way through. Uh, when I'm heading to London. So do give me a shout. Um, <clears throat> my voice has gone. Uh, hello to the Quiz Kings, Dev and Joe on this cold and snowy night. I think most of the country is getting snow today. Uh, so yeah, hello to both of you. Uh, Jenny says, and thank you for this as well, Jenny. Jenny says, feeling overly confident tonight as we got five out of five for the first time ever this morning. Uh, please say hi to us. That's Jenny, Darren and a uh, Evelyn playing in. And I love the fact, thank you very much for breaking this down for the idiot who can't pronounce anything. Thank you so much. Uh, from Lecklade. Um, against Joe Becker in Swansea and Pauline in Ross on Y. I love the fact you didn't break down Swansea and just hoped that I'd be able to pronounce that right. Uh, but thank you, Jenny. Really do appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, hello to all of you guys. Hello to Chris, the beastly beauty, and Susan, the beautiful beast. I like the way you've done that now, Chris. Fair play to you. I'll give you that. Uh, we'll be tuning in if I get home okay from sunny Shropshire. I'm sure you'll be back home and ready to go. Um, oh, my mum's just messaged me, said there's no snow in London. Don't worry, I'll probably be bringing it with me. Um, so don't just, you know, 
You always, you never get any snow where you are though in London, Mum. You get like a brief sprinkle. Um, hello to Moogie and Phil. Looking forward to quizzing as always. Good evening to you guys. Hope everyone is keeping warm is what they say. Hello to Pat Peck as well. Good evening to you. Uh, please, 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 can you give a great big shout out to my hubby, Dr. Nigel Calvert. He is going to be 60 next week and we are both going to retire at the end of March. He worked really hard over the pandemic and deserves the rest. We have watched from the beginning and still never managed a 50 out of 50. Maybe tonight. Well, maybe that just, you know, maybe when you, you know, when you retire. And then you'll have more time to sort of, you won't be thinking about all the medical stuff that you've got to think about. And it will just free that brain up for random nonsense. Um, but yeah, happy birthday to you, uh, Dr. Nigel. Um, and that's from Nurse Karen, aka the medics. Yeah, congratulations to both of you guys. Um, enjoy your retirement at the end of March. Um, Hi, Jay. Please, please, please. I love the fact everyone's putting please, please, please tonight. Uh, please say hello and belated happy 82nd birthday for last Saturday to the most incredible mum, gran and great gran in the world, Pat Taylor, who, yes, I know you've put in there that you had a good old chat with when you did my private birthday quiz a couple of years ago. I remember it well. Uh, just looking at the picture, I remember well. Uh, she's one of the biggest fans and this will make her birthday celebrations complete. Uh, thank you. Lots of love from Penny, Paul, Laura, Ricker and all of the family. And there is a picture of um, um, the a picture of Pat there on the bench as well, um, which I'll be visiting at some point over the next three days. Um, but yeah, happy birthday to you, Pat. Uh, I'm sure you've been spoiled, absolutely rotten. Um, hello to Linda Herring. Good evening to you. Uh, Sue says, uh, for, hi from Portsmouth, where we just have rain. Can you do a shout out to my daughter, Nev, whose birthday is tomorrow, please? Um, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that because I'm going to end up pronouncing it wrong. But you've got a nice team there. Uh, so hello to you. Uh, hello to Irene, who says, uh, please say happy birthday to our son-in-law, Dave, who is 42 today. So happy birthday to you. Uh, Devonshire Dumplings, good evening to you. Um, please can you say hello to our Zoom team who've been with you from the start. That's Karen, Ian, Michelle, Gail and Graham. So good evening to you guys. Hello to Jay. Uh, no, I am Jay. Uh, hello to Jeanette, John and Baffled Armstrong in uh, Belfast. Good evening to you guys. Happy birthday to the wonderful Jim Newman. Uh, for tomorrow I am sure you will enjoy it um you I remember for mine you were trying to find something for I'm gonna have to have a look on what three words now and see if I can find something and what three words that'll be around yours for your yeah, for your birthday I'll have a look tomorrow uh but yeah you've probably already done it yourself so I'm probably sort of you know you can probably already tell us but yeah hello to you uh, last couple on here um shout out for the usual gang the newbies Linda and Claire uh they're doing it on Sunday as Linda is going out on a girls night out uh Bakewell Tarts will be joining as usual um but she's not well so we can get well soon Claire uh, Brian's going out with the boys they'll be doing it another day uh, so say hi to the Black Eyed Peas Fran and Hugh I think everyone's in um, so good evening to you guys Julian Mick quizzing from Snowy Blyton uh, hopefully with Claire from Wet Rochester and finally on here can you please say happy birthday to Brian Goodsell and Amanda Goodsell who both have their birthday today so happy birthday to both of you now let's close that and let's see yeah, loads of loads of notifications on Twitter. Hello to the Keenstonians, Helen and Frozen No Gas John. Ooh. Oh dear, that's not good. Uh oh, that's just refreshed on me as well. Uh hopefully you get that fixed quite quickly. Um jog up and down on the spot. Um that's the only thing I can kind of think really. Um to keep you going. But yeah, hopefully you get that fixed quickly. Uh Stan's mum and dad having another attempt at the elusive 50. Fingers crossed to those guys. Uh can you give a shout out to my mate Elsie, who's going through a really tough breakup, please? It would mean a lot to her. Tell her to keep her chin up. Um, yeah, Elsie, chin up. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. What I mean is breakups are always hard. They always are. Um, but there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And what might seem like a really bad time at the moment, tomorrow is another day and you'll be smiling and every day you'll keep smiling, keep smiling, keep smiling. And at the end of it, you'll be absolutely fine and you'll come out of it a better person. Take it. I always say it's always learning. No matter what we do in life is always learning. I've got a great quote put in something this week. I very nearly revealed something that I'm not allowed to talk about. <laughs> anyway, right, moving swiftly on before I get myself in trouble. Uh, hello to... Uh, ah. Uh, please say hi to my fantastic mum and uh, mum and Leslie and Dave love from Karen. So hello to you guys. Hello to Andy and Amy in Stockport, uh, who recently discovered the quiz and loving it. Uh, and you're still here, which is always a good thing. So hello to both of you. Um, you ha uh, you've been keeping us company everything for every Thursday for the last nearly three years. Uh, great connector for extended families too. So special hello to Romy in Hertfordshire in Hartford in Cheshire. Uh, so good evening to you guys. Uh, I'm going to get a few more squeezed in on 
on here and I'll see if I can do some more in the breaks. Uh, hello to the Dorset Dales who put that beautiful gif of a roaring crackling fire that made me feel all warm and cozy. Um, we've got all the family on hand via WhatsApp. Weekly tradi tradition continues almost three years on. I know, I can't believe not this week, but the week after. Well, two weeks today will be in the middle of a three year anniversary celebration week crazy uh hello to anva who said it's just deborah and me tonight kate has had a tough week and colin is watching the footy well <laughs> it can't be any worse than watching last night um striving for the 50 as ever um please maybe have a shout out to our guest dom mike and rosie who are joining cat attack tonight hopefully the three extra brains will help uh no snow for the welling wizards uh, but hello to john and the welling wizards good evening to you uh good luck to lorna who is playing on her own and she's going to prove to kieran that she is far more intelligent than uh uh, than Kieran is when he's there. Uh, Tom Picton, your meme came in in the middle of when I was trying to pre-record the Saturday quiz, and that, so you've got two shout-outs. So good evening to you and all of the Picktons as well. Um, and that is all I can get onto there. I might be able to squeeze if I scroll right to the top. Uh, waiting for Tash to arrive uh, is the Picton family. And hello to the Williams in Old Colwyn. Uh, so good evening to you guys as well. Hello to the YouTube, li uh, YouTube live chat legends. Good evening to... Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Need to do that before I do anything else. Hello to all of the YouTube live chat legends. Good evening to all of the... Hope you are all well and staying safe. Turn that to that and to that. Um, and as always, hello to all of our patrons in the Jebral Nutjobs Discord server. Far too many of you in there to be, um, you're all talking about well, loads of other stuff then. So I'm just going to smile and nod and say hello to all of you fabulous people in there. I will chat to you all in a bit. Uh, but it is quiz time. Let's do it. Uh, uh oh, oh, there we go. Uh, so welcome along. It is... It is Thursday the 9th of March. I nearly did it then, Saturday the 11th of March. What quiz am I on? I am live now, so it's Thursday. Right, Thursday the 9th of March. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're all well. 50 questions as always. Uh, there's a bit of a special round for round three, and I'll explain to it when I get to it. Uh, I'll explain as I get to it. Yeah, well, when I get to it, I'll explain it. Uh, but we'll kick off as we always do with entertainment. I have, I can't. I've written two quizzes, pre-recorded one. Don't know which questions these sets this is. So we'll find out together. Here we go. Number one. Ah, right. Yeah, okay. Uh, which actor links Logan stroke Wolverine from the X-Men franchise and P.T. Barnum in The Greatest Showman? This is The Greatest Show. So which actor links Logan stroke Wolverine from the X-Men franchise and P.T. Barnum in The Greatest Showman? Uh, Jebra Normski, I've just seen what you put in Discord. I will get to that for the break. I, I am, so I will send it again to me in the break and I'll, I'll make sure when I come out of the first break, I will give Joe the congratulations she deserves. Uh, oh, too far. Uh, number two, after Sue Barker announced she was to retire, who has been out, who has been announced as her replacement on the Wimbledon coverage this year? So after Sue Barker announced she was to retire, who has been announced as her, her replacement on the Wimbledon coverage this year? Number three, which TV game show could contestants win a cuddly toy from a conveyor belt? <laughs> well, not really from the conveyor belt, but it was on a conveyor belt. So which TV game show could contestants win a cuddly, ow, cuddly toy from a conveyor belt? I'm the only person in the world, right, who's got a working desk that they sit at pretty much seven days a week. And I've filled drawers underneath it, so I can't even get under the desk. Every time I move forward, I bash my knee. Uh, number four, the Pips were the backing group of which Motown singer known as the Empress of Soul? We've got our very own Empress of the Quiz in the background. Not sure she's going to like the connection round tonight, but, you know. 
So the Pips were the backing group of which Motown singer known as the Empress of Soul? <laughs> I'm just sorry, I've just been called a numpty. Uh, number five, which film was the main focus for the parody Hot Shots? Which film was the main focus for the parody Hot Shots? Number six, who was the host of the game show Golden Balls? So who was the host of the game show Golden Balls? Uh, number seven, which actress played Lois Lane in The New Adventures of Superman? Paris Carver in Tomorrow Never Dies and Susan Mayer in Desperate Housewives. So which actress played Lois Lane in The New Adventures of Superman? Paris Carver in Tomorrow Never Dies and Susan Mayer in Desperate Housewives. Shut that down and leave that one open. Yes. Yeah, now a lot of you are sort of picking up on the fact that I'm channeling my inner Holly from um, Red Dwarf. It's not deliberate, it's cold. <laughs> Uh, number eight, which nursery rhyme gave Wings a top 10 hit in 1972? So which nursery rhyme gave Wings a top 10 hit in 1972? Yeah, not that Golden Balls, Phil and Tracy, just so you know. Uh, number nine, the TV show featuring featuring Ardell O'Hanlon. But what was the name? What but was the name? But what? That's what confused me. What was the name of his superhero character? So the TV show featuring Ardell O'Hanlon, but what was the name of his superhero character? You have really worded that badly. TV show featuring Arnold Hanlon called My Hero. But what was the... Yeah, right, okay. I think you know where I'm going with it anyway. And finally, friends, name at number 10. How is the guitarist with the nickname Slowhand better known? So how is the guitarist with the nickname Slowhand better known? Round 
when it changes. Round two is a bit of science. <laughs> Get Jack to teach you English. <laughs> uh, round two is science and nature. Uh, we'll kick it off then with this for number one. Uh, which chemical element has the nickname Quicksilver? <laughs> so which chemical element has the nickname Quicksilver? Have I got the wrong band here? People are messaging me asking me who... Right. I'm really confused. Uh, which camel element has the nickname Quicksilver? Um, number two. A squab is typically a bird under four years old of which animal? A squab is typically a bird under four years old of which animal? that's the first time in three years i've had someone say you are right <laughs> uh, number three what is the name of the only muscle in the human body attached at one end uh, so what is the name of the only muscle in the human body attached at one end it's going there's a, there's a glitch in the matrix now two people have said that i am right Two more people say it's like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. It's the end. Oh, there's three. Uh oh, now we're in trouble. Uh, number four, which island, which island does the Manx cat originate from? So which island does the Manx cat originate from? Uh, number five, Halley's Comet is visible from Earth every how many years? Is it 55 to 59 years, 65 to 69 years, or 75 to 79 years? So Halley's Comet is visible from Earth every 55 to 59 years, uh, 65 to 69 years, or 75 to 79 years. Train. Uh, number six, which animal does a hippologist study? Is it horses or is it hippos? So which animal does a hippologist study? Is it horses or is it hippos? Of all the questions I've put in tonight, I did not think that Wings was going to be the one that caused the biggest debate. <laughs> uh, number seven, in CT scan, what does the C stand for? So in CT scan, what does the C stand for? Number eight, ascorbic acid is more commonly known as which vitamin? 
So ascorbic acid is more commonly known as which vitamin? I've not taken mine. Oh, I'm in trouble. Not this one. I need to take the other tablet. I really need to start putting reminders in my phone to tell me to take tablets. Oopsies. I don't think I've ever said this in three years, but Vic, you've just won the, the, the cleverest answer of the night. I don't think anyone's going to top that. So well done, Vic. Uh, number nine, O3 is the chemical formula for which layer of the atmosphere? So O3 is the chemical formula for which layer of the atmosphere? And finally, number 10. Too far. Uh, conkers come from which tree? So conkers come from which tree? <laughs> Three years, I never, ever thought I would say that Vicky came up with the funniest answer of the night. What is happening? <laughs> this day, everything's going wrong tonight. Uh, right, your final round and then we'll take a break. Uh, so it's the number 10. Hmm. Bit cryptic. Uh, basically, all these questions and potentially some of the answers will have something to do with the number 10. So the number 10 will be synonymous in some way, shape or form with the questions or the answers. There is a reason why I've put a round in tonight around the number 10. And I will tell you once I've gone through the, through the questions. This was going to be a connections round, but then I bailed on it quite early on. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the, the question or the answer will have something to do with the number 10, as you will see from this for number one. Uh, which person also holds the offices? First Lord of the Treasury, Minister for the Civil Service and Minister Responsible for National Security. So which person also holds the offices of First Lord of the Treasury, Minister for the Civil Service and Minister Responsible for National Security? Number two, in American football, each team has how many chances to advance 10 yards before turning over possession? So in American football, each team has how many chances to advance 10 yards before turning over possession? Um, for question one, you can either, uh, I don't mind, you can either put the current person who has that role or you can put the if you don't want to write that name down, you can write the position. It's up to you. I don't mind. I'll give you both anyway. Number three in boxing, a knockdown triggers the referee to count to 10, which leads to a knockout. But what does the T stand for in a TKO? So in boxing, a knockdown triggers the referee to count to 10, which leads to a knockout. But what does the T stand for in a TKO? Number four, Canada has 10 provinces, but which of these isn't one of them? Is it Nova Scotia, Montreal or Ontario? So Canada has 10 provinces, but which of these isn't one of them? Is it Nova Scotia, is it Montreal or is it Ontario?
for the second quiz in a row. We might be about to be joined by a, a giddy five-year-old. Uh, number five, Elvis Presley holds the record for most top 10 UK singles. But how many does he have? Is it 76, 86 or 96? So Elvis Presley holds the record for most top 10 UK singles. How many does he have? 76, 86 or 96? Uh, number six, in the US, 10 cents is equivalent to one what? So in the US, 10 cents is equivalent to one what? Number seven, the decathlon consists of 10 events across two days. Uh, which athletics distance race ends the event? Is it 400 metres, 800 metres or 1500 metres? I completely misread something in the Discord server. I thought it said, ah, we are having Elvis walking down the aisle. I got really confused. Uh, three to go. Number eight, Capricorn is the 10th astrological sign. But which month does it majorly fall in? One month's got 20 days and the other one's got about seven or eight. Uh, so Capricorn is the 10th astrological sign. But which month does it majorly fall in? At number nine, in Strictly Come Dancing, the highest score from an individual judge is 10. But which city hosts a round of the show in its famous ballroom? So in Strictly Come Dancing, the highest score from an individual judge is 10. But which city hosts a round of the show in its famous ballroom? And your final one, number 10. Which chemical element is also the traditional anniversary gift for a 10 year anniversary? I may give you a clue as to where I'm going with this. Uh, but which chemical element is also the traditional anniversary gift for a 10 year anniversary? Right, that is your first 30 questions. Uh, they are up on the website now. I'm sure Beck will have put a link up as well if you need to, but jvpqquestions.com. Uh, head on over there if you need to recap any of those first 30. The reason I went with that round there for um, for round three, it's kind of I'm trying to dig myself out of a little bit of a hole. Uh, tomorrow uh, is the 10th of March. So it's also a 10. Uh, but it's also Sarah and my 10-year uh, anniversary from the day that we got together. And I'm travelling to London for the weekend and I'm not going to be back until late on Sunday night. So uh, I'm a little bit in the doghouse. Uh, I'm also a little bit in the doghouse for a few comments along the lines, jokey comments along the lines of um, things like like, you know, I'd just be getting out now and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's our 10-year wedding. Uh, no, it's not a wedding anniversary. It's our 10-year anniversary of us getting together tomorrow. Um, so that's kind of to dig me out of a hole. Um, so, yeah, that's why I did it. Not that she's listening to this in any way, shape or form. Uh, right, we're going to take a short break. Uh, when we come back, I'll give you all the answers to the first part of the quiz. I will see you in about seven minutes time.
you and Whiskers can take over. <laughs> You're not saying anything. You've just spent the whole break whispering because you thought everyone could hear you until I told you that you, they couldn't hear you. And now you don't want to say anything. You've just sat here and said you wanted to say hello to everyone before you go to bed. Hello. <laughs> sat there for four minutes. Yeah, four and a half minutes he's been sat here waiting to get, <laughs> waiting for the break to finish to say hello to you all. Uh, right, um, you're going to bed. Meow. You're going to take Whiskers to bed. Meow. Whiskers, I have no Whiskers. Whiskers, Meow. it's got no Whiskers, yeah. Right. Right, Love say goodnight, Jack. Say goodnight to everybody. Not nice no, you today. say goodnight as well. Good night. Right. I'm going to show you've lost your first two. Oh, yeah, you've lost your first tooth as well, haven't you? <laughs> yes. I'm going to be closer. Come on. Come on, you're showing everybody. <laughs> oh, right. The gap in your teeth. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Gappy. Show them then. Have a look in the camera. Up there. Yay. There you go. Right. Off you go. Oh, someone's, someone sent you a, a Chase Paw Patrol picture. <laughs> <laughs> right, now Munchkin. Uh, yeah, we sat there for a whole break, wanted to, wanted to say hello to everyone and couldn't understand why I was in a break. Um, right, before I do anything else, uh, I've lost it again now. Uh, there it is. Uh, yeah, I did see this just as I was about to start and I said I would do it now. Uh, yeah, massive well done to Jo for getting a new job at Five Star Holiday Park uh, down there in Lou. She starts next Thursday and everyone from the from all of the Undiscovered and I'm sure the rest of you guys as well are absolutely immensely proud of Jo. So well done to you, Jo, from all of us here as well. Um, right, get your answer sheets ready because Jack has kind of railroaded my, um, my timings. Um, but he's cute so he can get away with it. And no, it was not £50 a tooth. <laughs> We were having this big debate about how much the tooth fairy gives now. So we've told him he's, he had five pound for his first tooth, and then it's a pound for every tooth after that. But we think we're, we're still. I mean, I don't, I don't even remember what. I think my mum and I worked out we got fifty p a tooth uh, when we were kids. Uh, anyway, right, answer sheets are ready. Let's give you the answers to the first thirty. Uh, here we go. Number one, which actor links low? Links Logan Wolverine, uh, Logan Stroke Wolverine from the X Men franchise, and P.T. Barnum in The Greatest Showman. It is Hugh Jackman. It's definitely not hundred pound or two. I need to swap glasses because I've got a crack in those. Uh, oh, these are old ones. Uh, number two, after Sue Barker announced she was to retire, who has been announced as her replacement on the Wimbledon coverage this year? It's Claire Balding. They are the old ones. I'm going to have to suffer with these for now. Oh, no. They're there. Number three, which TV game show could contestants win a cuddly toy from a conveyor belt? It was the Generation Game. Number four, the Pips were the backing group of which Motown singer known as the Empress of Soul? It was Gladys Knight. That's better. Uh, number five, which film was the main focus for the parody Hot Shots? It was Top Gun. Number six, what, uh, who was the host of the game show Golden Balls? It's Jasper Carrot. Number seven, which actress played Lois Lane in The New Adventures of Superman? Paris Carver in Tomorrow Never Dies and Susan Mayer in Desperate Housewives. It was Terry Hatcher. Number eight, which nursery rhyme gave Wings a top 10 hit in 1972? It was Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mm. Number nine, the TV show featuring Ardlo Hanlon, but what, uh, what was the name of his superhero character? He was called Thermo Man. And number 10, how is the guitarist with the nickname Slowhand better known? Eric Clapton. Round two, science and nature number one, which chemical element has the nickname Quicksilver? It's Mercury. Number two, a squab is typically a bird under four years old of which animal? It's pigeon or piggin. Number three, what is the name of the only muscle in the, hu in the human body attached at one end? It is tongue. Thanks for that, Colin. Uh, number four, which island does the Manx cat originate from? It's the Isle of Man. Number five, Halley's Comet is visible from Earth every 75 to 79 years. 
Number six, which animal does a hippologist study? It is horses. Number seven, in a CT scan, what does the C stand for? Uh, so the C stands for comp computized, uh, but the T, just for you know, is tomography. Uh, number eight, ascorbic acid is more commonly known as vitamin C. Uh, number that didn't change. That did. That, there we go. Number nine. O three is the chemical formula for which layer of the atmosphere? It is ozone. Number ten. Conkers come from which tree? It is horse chestnut. Round three, the number 10, uh, number one, which person also holds the offices? First Lord of the Treasury, Minister for Civil Service and Minister Responsible for National Security. Uh, currently, it's Rishi Sunak. Uh, but if you've also put Prime Minister, you can have either of those for the point. Number two, in American football, each team has how many chances to advance 10 yards before turning over possession? It is four. Number three, in boxing, a knockdown triggers the referee to count to 10, which leads to a knockout. But what does the T stand for in a TKO? It is technical. Number four, Canada has 10 provinces, but which of these is not, uh, isn't one of them? It is Montreal. Number five, Elvis Presley holds the record for most top 10 UK singles, but how many does he have? He has 76. Number six, in the US, 10 cents is equivalent to one dime. Number seven, the decathlon consists of 10 events across two days. Which athletics distance race ends the event? It's the 1500 meters. Number eight, Capricorn is the 10th astrological sign. Which month does it majorly fall in? It is January. It's 20 days of January it covers. And number nine is Streetly Come Dancing, the highest score for an individual judge's turn. Uh, which city hosts, uh, hosts a round of the show in its famous ballroom? It is Blackpool. And finally, number 10, which chemical element is also the tra traditional anniversary gift for a 10 year anniversary? It is tin. So, tot your scores up very, 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 very quickly. Um, let us know how you're getting on so far. Still to come, connections round and general knowledge. Can't remember which connections round this is. I've done, so is it? Oh, yeah, no, no, I know which one it is. Yeah, because I had two, and I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. So I thought, I'll use this one on Beck, because it will send around the houses. She'll be flapping like mad, and then she'll eventually get it. So I've gone with it. I've gone with it that way. So I do remember which one it is. Uh, so, yeah, connections round and then general knowledge to finish off. Um, so, yeah. Let us know how you are getting on. Mm, some interesting scores coming through. Although I did, I've got to read this. It's uh, just while you're putting your scores on. Uh, Phil said his milk milk. Uh, start again. Phil said his milk teeth fell out before decimalization. He thinks he got a sixpence for each tooth. <laughs> Well, I'm joking with my mum. I think that basically our 50p's for um, for a tooth, we used to get 50p and then ended up going in the old electric meters. As we, growing up uh, in a Victorian house in uh, South London, we had one of the 50p meters under the stairs. So I think that's where most of our 50p's went. Uh, right, let's do this. Uh, that one there and that one there. So round four connections for you tonight. As always, nine questions. Question number 10, what links them all together? We start... Sound the great vines uh, getting jaded. Yeah. Uh, here we go. We start with this number one. Uh, what can go after Alnwick, Leeds, Edinburgh, and Windsor? So what can go after Alnwick, Leeds, Edinburgh, and Windsor? I won't get anything for the anniversary. I can tell you that now. Number two, Walthamstow, Wimbledon, Catford and Bellevue are the names of former stadiums in which racing category? So 
So Walthamstow, Wimbledon, Catford and Bellevue are the names of former stadiums in which racing category? Now, I've put one of those in there because I think some of you might have gone with the four wheel kind um, without giving too much away. I put another stadium in there that didn't have the four wheel kind. So. Number three, the Animals had a 1964 hit with the House of the What? So the Animals had a 1964 hit with House of the What? Mystic Megs passed away. I didn't know that. Number four, what is the name of the country house retreat used by the UK Prime Minister? What is the name of the country house retreat used by the UK Prime Minister? Um, that was going to be my joke, Colin, but I didn't want to say it. Number five, what is the name of the head adornment? Pulling out the big words on this Thursday night. Worn by monarchs as a symbol of power and dignity. So what is the name of the head adornment? Adornment, yes, three syllables. Uh, worn by monarchs as a symbol of power and dignity. I've had four people tell me I'm right tonight. Vicky's come up with an incredibly funny answer. And I'm using words that have got more than three syllables. Number six, a farrier is a professional occupation with the fitting of what? So a farrier is a professional occupation with the fitting of what? Number seven, what is the name of the large farming implement drawn over soil to turn it over? So what is the name of the large farming implement drawn over soil to turn it over? Number eight, Edith Nesbitt released a 1906 novel entitled The What Children? So Edith Nesbitt released a 1906 novel entitled The What Children? Number nine, which animal lends its name to a chocolate bar by the company Nestle? So which animal lends its name to a chocolate bar by the company Nest Company? 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 Do, 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 company? Uh, by the company Nestle? Or Nestle, if you're that way out. And as always, question 10, what links all of those answers together? General knowledge then, let's wrap everything up with these 10 random questions, starting with this, number one. What M can be the name of a wild species of duck or a steam locomotive? Train. What M can be the name of a wild species of duck or a steam locomotive? Number two, the Olympic rings are blue, black, red, green, and which other color? 
So the Olympic rings are blue, black, red, green, and which other color? Whoop, whoop. Train. Number three, how is the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited better known? So how is the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited better known? Not sure if that's a warning, Tristan, or whether you just want some duck. I don't know. Just says, mmm, duck. Uh, number four, the Beagle 2 was the unsuccessful British spacecraft mission in 2003, which crash landed into which planet? The Beagle 2 was the unsuccessful British spacecraft mission in 2003, which crash landed into which planet? Number five, Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the world by surface area. It can be found on which continent? So Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the world by surface area and it can be found on which continent? Number six, in which year did the Shard formally open to the public? Barack Obama is sworn in for a second term and Prince George was born. So in which year did the Shard formally open to the public? Barack Obama is sworn in for a second term and Prince George was born. Number seven, who created Paddington Bear? Can't wait to see some of the answers for this. Uh, but who created Paddington Bear for number seven? Number eight, all the visible numbers on a dartboard add up to what? Read the question carefully. All the visible numbers on a dartboard add up to what? Number nine, which spirit is distilled from sugarcane molasses? I'm not going to split hairs. Uh, which spirit is distilled from sugarcane molasses? And your final question for this evening, number 10. Which country's flag has an Ashoka chakra in the center of it? Probably pronounced that wrong, but which country's flag has the Ashoka chakra in the center of it? Lake Superior is a superb Twitter account to follow. They are hilarious. I will have a look after the quiz. Uh, right in there on that one. Push that button. Do that. Do that do that and then just basically do that uh right um short break back with some answers after this they're up on the website now uh jvpqquestions.com uh make sure it's gone make sure it has gone yes it has right they're on there now uh i'll see you in about six and a bit minutes bye
whoops, might have been in the middle of something then and completely forgot. Uh, right, uh, answers coming up then in just a second. I just looked up at the clock and it went five, four, three. So I just had to bail very quickly on some people. Uh, right, uh, yeah, answers coming up. Grab your answer sheets together. Let's see how you did with these. If I push the right button, here we go. Uh, everyone's talking about, like, duck and stuff and sushi in the Discord server. It's gone weird. Uh, right, here we go. Uh, number one, what can go after... Oh, hang on, right. I've just seen this pronunciation on pronounced pronunciation on Twitter. Let me get it. Uh, Anik, I think. Anik. There we go. I don't know. I pronounce it as it looks. Uh, what can go after Anik leads Edinburgh and Windsor? It is Castle. I just look at things how they spell. Uh, number two, Walthamstow, Wimbledon, Catford, and Bellevue are the names of former stadiums in in the Greyhound racing category. They didn't all have like stock racing and banger car racing, etc. Number three, the animals had a 1964 hit with House of the Rising Sun. Number four, what is the name of the country house retreat used by the UK Prime Minister? It is Chequers. Number five, what is the name of the head adornment worn by monarchs as a symbol of power and dignity? It is Crown. Number six, a farrier is a professional occupation with the fitting of horseshoes. Number seven, what is the name of the large farming implement drawn over soil to turn it over? It is plow. Number eight, Edith Nesbitt released a 1906 novel entitled The Railway Children. Number nine, which animal lends its name to a chocolate bar by the company Nestle? It is lion. Lion Bar. So what links them all together? Nice and hopefully straightforward for you all tonight. Uh, just pub names. All different types of pub names you could think of there. I mean, I had loads that I could have gone with, but I went with those in the end. Jabral Knowledge, number one. What M can be the name of a wild species of duck or a steam locomotive? It is Mallard. Number two, the Olympic rings are blue, black, red, green, and yellow. The answer to question number one was Castle Vic. Pay attention. Uh, number three, what? Uh, how is the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited better known? It is HSBC. Number four, the Beagle 2 was the unsuccessful British space car, spacecraft mission in 2003, which crash landed into Mars. Number five, Lake Superior is the largest freshwater lake in the world by surface area. It can be found on North America. Number six, in which year did the Shard formally open to the public? Barack Obama is sworn in for a second term and Prince George was born. It's 2013. <laughs> Number seven, who created Paddington Bear? It was Michael Bond. Not some of the answers I was given. Number eight. All the visible numbers on a dartboard add up to 210. Number nine. Which spirit is distilled from sugarcane molasses? It is rum. And finally, number 10. Which country's flag has the Ash um, Ashoka Chakra in the center of it? It is India, which I didn't realise that's a wheel. When I was looking at this earlier, uh, I was looking for, you know, things that are in the middle of flags. So then I found the Indian flag and then, you know, what is it in the middle of the flag? I didn't realise it was a wheel. I, think I, looked, I might be hosting the quiz, but I still learn stuff every day. Uh, right, talk your scores up. Let us know how you got on this evening. But if you need to separate your teams, as always, here is a tiebreaker of this. Uh, the first entirely computer animated movie was Toy Story in 1995. But what was the running time in minutes? <laughs> The first entirely computer animated movie was Toy Story in 1995. But what was the running time in minutes? People are now trying to put pub names in front of children to, to for the connection round. You're all wrong. There was me thinking. There was me with Edith Nesbitt's lesser well-known The King's Arms Children. Right. As always, nearest to this gets the point. 
So in three, unless you're Jules Lang, I'm going to get this spot on. But three, two, one. 81. It was 81 minutes long. So the first entirely computer animated movie was 81 minutes long. There you go. That is it for the season. For what's just been, to be fair, everything's actually run in the right direction. Everything's sort of gone fairly straightforward, and it just feels like I've just walking away from this absolutely giddy because it's been a bit of a bit of a crazy night. Something in the water at the minute. Everyone's a bit mad. Uh, but thank you as always for joining us this evening. Thank you for uh, whenever you're watching this, and thank you for playing. Uh, so pre-recorded Saturday. It's already done. It's all sorted. All boxed off. It's all hidden in the background on YouTube. And the sooner I finish this, I'll activate it. Uh, so the link will be ready and up and running for you if you want to have a look um but yes it'll all be ready for you for saturday night at the usual time next week is just a standard week it's a nice uh, easy week uh, live quiz on thursday and then pre-recorded on saturday and then we move into the anniversary week seven nights of quizzing uh four pre-recorded three live more about that next week though because uh, i'm just finalizing a few bits uh that is it for me i am off now to london uh, so yeah if you're in the area if you're about um I'm not actually doing the London Homeless Collective Walk. I'm there to support everyone, um, sort of GM up and stuff, because they do laps around Connection at St. Martin. So if you're in the area, pop over. I'll be around and about outside Connections and inside Connections. So if you're in the area, pop over and say hello tomorrow night uh, and give the guys encouragement as they're all walking around. If you do see them walking around London tomorrow night, because uh, they're doing it for a very, very, very worthy cause. Uh, so I'm setting off tomorrow morning once I've got four new tyres on my car. I will see you all soon. That's it from me. As always, let us know how you got on. Take care and we'll see you soon. Stay safe.